I'm Matt Fish, the owner of Mel Bar and Grill. I got my start at Cuyahoga Community College. I would say my life here at Melt, I use what I learned at Tri-C every single day. The instructors at the Culinary Arts Program at Tri-C were fantastic. I mean, they were so hands-on. I really felt like I was getting individual attention, individual teaching. And Tri-C has one of the best culinary arts schools in the area. Hey, it worked for me. Tri-C is where futures begin. Let's talk about how the Beatnik Playboys got their name. Um, it was just kind of fun. We wanted something catchy and fun, and uh, you know, Bill always wears a beret, and it was kind of like, yeah, you just kind of got that Beatnik vibe to you, Bill, you know. And and then we were just tossing names around, and it just it just happened, you know. Nothing, nothing really clever to say about it, but it just it just seemed funny with the group right. of guys that I'm with, the call them Playboys too. Especially so. Roy. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Who has said, and I, I read that he said, I've always wanted to be a beatnik and I've always wanted to be a Playboy. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and now, you, and you've been playing quite a bit around town and uh, around Northeast Ohio. Yeah, we've been working quite a bit and hopefully even more in the future, so. Right. And the album has really gotten some good reviews. So how has that yeah. changed what you guys are doing? Um, it's great for the confidence, you know, you know especially, I, I wrote um, 12 of the 13 songs, mm -hmm. and so when you do that, it's just kind of like, you don't know what to, especially when you send them out for reviews and you just keep your fingers crossed and you don't, yeah. you know, and, and then the, a lot of them are very country and a lot of them are not new, new style country either, you know, so. Right. Um, it's just been wonderful. The, the reviews have been really great and, and uh, it's, it's giving me more confidence with my writing and, and to, to right. play my songs out in public mm -hmm. and and share them, you know, with others. So I, right. I was shy about that before. <laughs> so Well, you know, and really a great song is the marriage between the song and the singer who's interpreting the song and becoming the song and and what it's a good it's good positive you know strokes to be able to be known for being a songwriter and the voice because you know, you've always been the voice and the piano player so so uh, have you since you've done the album have you kept on writing yeah yeah definitely and similar vein similar um, stuff or? yeah I'm kind of eclectic as far as writing because some of the songs you know they sound like they could have been written 50, 60 years ago sometimes, you know, mm -hmm. and other songs are really uh, contemporary and, and there's a lot of classical elements mm -hmm. going on. Be careful. I know. <laughs> careful of classical But stuff. I figure there's enough twang in my voice that will kind of balance <laughs> it out that it'll still work, you know. Um, <laughs> right. But I do love piano music. I love, you know, so maybe in the next album there'll be more of those kind of songs where mm -hmm. the, the, a lot more detailed and as far as, um, you know, piano stuff. <laughs> when, when you recorded the album, I know it's the core of the band, but then you had some guests coming in too. What was the theory about that? Well, um, I always want to do this album because there's so many great musicians in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's just, and, and it'd be impossible to get everybody on there, but, but there was like certain songs, I was like, wow, wouldn't it be great if Paul Kovac sang with me on this one? You know, mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a great harmony singer. Or, he is. And, um, or, or some mandolin, or Denny Jones brought his fiddle in. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful. <laughs> you know, and then Jack Kidney from the Numbers Band. You know, the, the one the one song is kind of bluesy. And it's like, wow, you know, I'd love to hear that real dirty harp on this song or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it it worked out just being this wonderful, you know, eclectic mix of musicians that came in on the, that just agreed to come in and play and sing with me. Brent mm -hmm. Kirby right. did one duet. Nate Jones did another duet. Yeah, and, uh, I like those guys. Chris Brent, Hanna yeah. did some great. B3 stuff on it and so it was um, I'd, it like to hear, I'd like to hear a little bit more uh, Rhodes like the last song on the album yeah it's yeah. like ooh, this, she, gets, <laughs> she gets down you know, she's channeling her the, Bonnie <laughs> yeah I, lo I love that the dirty blues kind of stuff too real yeah. raw sounding because it's it all really comes from the same core it does it's the same dirt it is exactly the same you know there's mm -hmm. the same heart behind it the same right. soul to it so did the album come together quite quickly and or was it a, a drawn-out process? Um, as far as musically, you know, it wasn't... What we, the rhythm section and what we played with the Beatnik Playboys is just sort of like the core was there, and we recorded 